it, 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 maybe it's better that I tell you what I'm thinking is that, you know, I think we have to look, no, I don't think anyone is, is disputing efficiency and quality, whether it's public safety or any other department or federal government or state government, whatever is most efficient. I, I'm just saying I don't think that is exclusive of also the way necessarily to save money. Uh, and specifically, how do you put a cost on preventative um, direct cost? We could cut overtime, but it's that overtime for investigations that members of your union, while we could save money, uh, it's going to cost us a lot more in the future. Do we? Uh, so I, I, I guess I'm just either looking for support or disagreement, whichever your personal opinion is, is that efficiency is not necessarily the uh, bottom answer, that we got to look at both. And sometimes, uh, I believe, particularly in public safety, you get what you pay for. If we do cut out things that uh, maybe look um, extra today, um, the, the preventative side, the education side of learning the new investigative techniques, the, uh, um, you know, we could do remote, I guess is one example, and where I've heard from uh, a lot of your members, I, I don't think you and I have talked, we could do remote training, which is much more efficient, but that hands-on experience in the, in the field with, with the, the class together, uh, at least the, the, the the sergeants and the officers that are at the academy say that's better than trying to bring everybody through remote. I don't know whether that's a good example, but I, I think we're starting to get a flavor to our residents since it's on media that we should just, you know, not be doing a lot of overtime and or cutting back on patrolling uh, with the helicopters or whatever to save money. And I, I think that would be or cut down the number of people we're putting into water because. Fortunately, you all have done a phenomenal job in, in preventing some actual incidents. Um, but the cost later becomes much more expensive. That's what I'm, I guess, looking for either support or disagreement, whichever you want, and it's fine with me, specifically and not broadly. Uh, and if you can't, that's fine. W once again, Mr. Mayor, I, th I think uh, efficiency certainly includes, is almost synonymous with being able to provide the quality of service that the citizens have required and demand and deserve. Okay. And certainly that service uh, is based upon manpower levels and the ability to have access to that service when they need it. And when it comes to emergency or public service, it's a 24 seven job. And so it's very serious, so. Okay, and then one last quick one. Boots on the ground, which has been used by lots of people right now. Uh, does, is it your professional definition since we all define it maybe a little different that uh, let's say forensic officers that uh, are never on the street but are lo uh, working on these things or uh, what do they call it forensic computer predator uh, detectives that are working internationally but never on the street those are, are do you consider those boots on the ground too I don't mean that as a negative but I mean I think again for me as a lay person sometimes I, I only think about the officer that's in the car, but there's a lot of boots that are on the ground, right? And, and Mr. Mayor, let me respond to that with probably a poor analogy. Yes, you do have boots on the ground, but you also have just as equally important, we'll just call it wingtips on the ground. We'll call them detectives. And the when, 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 you're, uh, when, you're, when your investigative bureau has a 40% vacancy rate, those are the men and women that solve the crimes. Preventing crime is very important. Of course it is. Solving crime is very important too. Both of those elements are important. What we've done is robbed Peter to pay Paul. And so now our, our, our investigative bureau, if you're a victim, Councilman Neely, you're gonna have to wait a couple months. You might even have to wait a year. I think you pay taxes to get better service than that. Public safety staffing is crucial. So yes, all elements, whether they're in uniform or driving around in a detective's car, or an undercover guy making uh, drug buys, or an SAU officer being first to the door. They're all services that are crucial in providing public safety. And our vacancy rate is, is, is really having a negative impact on our investigations. We're down 40% there. So what makes a difference is how do you help solve that problem? Perhaps a better and more efficient way of staffing patrol, which will give some relief back to our investigative okay. division. 